everyone, welcome. Well, Tom and I are trying to get healthier, trying to lose some weight, and we have some friends that have lost quite a bit of weight with the keto diet. So I've been looking online, uh, looking on Pinterest, looking at magazines, coming up with recipes. One I'm gonna try tonight is the grilled steak with a blue cheese shallot sauce. We're also gonna have asparagus with uh, uh, wrapped in bacon and uh, we have some tasters coming over tonight. We have Julie and Randy with hard fat. Uh, Randy's made some armadillo eggs so that's going to go with, with us for an appetizer. And then Jarrett Crocker's coming over, the real Mac Crocker's coming, and they're also going to be the tasters. So welcome. Come on into my kitchen. Let's get started. Okay, now for the steaks, I am using ribeyes. I wanted some filet mignons for tonight because that's what the recipe called for, but uh, they didn't have any. So I am using ribeyes, which they look really good anyway. You can use any kind of steak you want. Um, I have, um, I marinated them in some beer and more Star sauce. And I am using a season from Sawgrass, the seven, um, seven Steak Spice. I really like it. It's really good. I don't know if you guys can see it. But I'm going to let these marinate for a while, and uh, we'll be back. So for the asparagus, I'm going to get some olive oil and cut the asparagus. probably need about a tablespoon. Just make sure that's coated real good. Oops. Don't need the rubber band. And then I'm going to add a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Coat that. Tablespoon of lemon pepper. Teaspoon of salt, or to your liking, to your taste. A teaspoon of cracked pepper. Just make sure it's coated really well. So each little morsel gets a good flavor to it. And then I'm going to wrap with bacon. Okay, so I'm taking six asparagus. I'm taking a slice of bacon. And I'm just starting at the top, get it pretty tight. Hopefully those are tight enough that they'll stay together when you're on the grill. I have seven here. But there's going to be six, six of us eating tonight. So this will be plenty. Okay, I'm also making some sauteed mushrooms. So I'm melting my butter. I'm gonna add the mushrooms. Just 
Nothing like ribeyes and sauteed mushrooms. Can add some salt and pepper to taste. I hate to add, say like add a teaspoon of this, a teaspoon of that. I'm more of a whatever your taste is. And I always like a little bit more pepper than anything else. So I'm gonna put these on low and get them ready. Okay, I have also added a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of garlic just to give the mushrooms a little bit of extra flavor. I cook them until they're nice and tender and a little brown. Okay, so now we are ready for the blue cheese shallot sauce. I'm going to add two sticks of butter, melt them. And if you're wondering why there's one melted and one not, is it would have been a blooper. <laughs> I spilt some, so I do have a mess, but we're gonna keep on trucking. You're going to add one large shallot to the butter mixture. You're going to add one teaspoon of fresh rosemary. I love rosemary, love the way, I love the fragrance. One teaspoon of just some Italian seasoning. One teaspoon of basil. And yes, your Italian seasoning has uh, the basil and the rosemary in it, but I just like a little extra and a little extra uh, thyme. One teaspoon. And a teaspoon of tarragon. Just like it rich with flavor so I always add some extra things just saute that get it a little brown we're going to add a teaspoon of the Liam Pepper Rochester sauce. Just a teaspoon. And 
And you're going to cook this until your shallots are tender. Okay, so my shallots are tender, little brown. I'm going to add two cups of heavy cream. Mix that in really good. I'm gonna let it heat up. Okay, so the mixture, the shallot sauce mixture is boiling. I am going to now turn off the heat. And I'm going to add two cups of crumbled blue cheese. I'm gonna mix it in. And the ideal is that it's gonna get thick. And I'm gonna do something a little different since we all like mushrooms. I'm gonna go ahead and add the mushrooms to my sauce mix. And my sister Julie is here and she's going to pour those mushrooms in or at least put the pan over here so I can get to it. So here come the mushrooms. I was just gonna make this as a side, but I'm really good at changing up recipes. So I'm just gonna add these mushrooms. Looks great. Now we just gotta get it thick. I think it's getting thicker. Is it getting thicker? Yeah. I don't know what to do if it doesn't get thick. <laughs> I don't need more blue cheese. So. <laughs> no, I feel like it feels thicker. So you feel it getting thicker? I think so. And this is the finished results. Yum, I can't wait. You don't want, to, you want one of these under there? Make it all fancy and proper? Yes, yes please. <laughs> Even Emerald yeah. wants in on this deal. <laughs> Randy, that's yours now. Okay, Randy, what do you think? Awesome job by everybody. Thank you. I love your armadillo eggs. They are so good. Well, thank you. you got the inspiration from you. <laughs> Tom, what do you think? New recipe. Can you go on a keto diet? Yes. No bread, though. Oh, well. <laughs> Jared Crocker. I know you don't need to go on a keto diet, but what do you think of the meal? I'm not all about diets, but I'll definitely go on a keto diet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's some good stuff. Thank you. And my sister Julie, <laughs> absolutely awesome. The sauce gave the steaks a totally different taste, and I love it. Really, right. really good. Okay. And the armadillo eggs that Randy did, I'm not much into jalapeno peppers because I don't like hot stuff, but those are perfect. So everything is superb. You couldn't get this at a restaurant. This is great. Thank you. Now we'll concentrate on diamond and emerald. They're still a muddy.